Volume 2, Chapter 6, First Alarm You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Why doesn't anyone come? Several days have passed since I entered the dungeon. In that span of time, the number of women who tried to invade this tower is, zero. Well, that should be expected. This tower is a danger in itself after all. It was so dangerous they already dubbed it as the Tower of Death, and the country is prohibiting any forms of entry inside. If there was anyone that would come to this place, they might be an outlaw or a person who's just not right in their head. So, what are you going to do? I asked Belle, with her arms crossed right in front of me, with her cheeks puffed up. By the way, Belle still couldn't get out of the tower. The art formation was a pretty powerful seal, so powerful it was even beyond my abilities. Would you like me to see the state of the city for a moment? I offered, but Belle shook her head in reply. If you were to go outside, what if that time a woman comes inside? You won't be able to have sex with them. Plus, when Gillis is not nearby, I feel, lonely, my my, Gillis.Sanshur is a popular man, in contrast to Belle's sad tone, Carol made fun of it. Because I had Carol forge my skills, and severely at that, I think my techniques pertaining to sex and pleasure has gone up by a mile. Still, it was really hard, I did jizzed out dozens of shots on her each day. You fufu, but you did have gathered quite the points for having sex with this one San, didn't you? Well, it was still true that I accumulated several points in doing the deed with Carol. However, it was still far from our target. Also, you have to bring the girls inside somehow, but that would be hard unless we change the theme of this dungeon, theme. That is, as this is a very dangerous place, no one will normally come here. It has to be something interesting for women to gather around, or this will be inevitable, so that's what you mean, then, have you got any ideas? Creating an attraction is the most ideal way to do it, but still the first step is the most difficult. After all, it was hard to change nothing into something. For now, let's try to change the appearance of the tower and the forest that grows around it. Our first priority should be to be more approachable to many. Dot. I agree. Let's start with that first, wee woo wee woo woo. As soon as Bell nodded in consent, an alarm suddenly resounded. There were magical tools installed in several places inside this tower. After all, what is there to a prison without any monitoring devices installed? Those tools showed some reaction right now. Meaning there is an intruder inside. I ran to a monitor dot like device used for surveillance. Looks like someone has really entered, seriously. We did it. We did nothing idiot. What are you so happy about? For now, let's try to find out where that intruder is. Good thing I came prepared. That's a really convenient device you have there, Bell praised me in admiration on the things I've just set up days before. To be able to check many places without having to personally go there at once, it's really convenient. That's right. Could you please stop reacting so much? They're just surveillance cameras and a monitor. And they're even run by magic at that. Seriously, how does this world conduct reconnaissance? It may be treated as a specialized knowledge in this parallel world, but it's not really worth anything to me. Still, I am a bane. With my knowledge in my previous life, together with my skills in magic, I was able to make and set up tools and alarms in the tower that would react if someone got caught in a trap. Now then, let's see how it turned out. I looked for which location the alarm was triggered. It's the third floor. Someone must have been caught on a trap over there, the intruder's already gone to the third floor. Looks like someone's got skills. Pretty good I say, we don't know about that yet, I shrugged and looked towards Bell. This tower consisted of 100 floors. As the difficulty level increases each time you go up one floor, it just means it's not that easy to pass any floor without getting challenged. Passing each floor just like that means that intruder has some kind of ability. To tell you the truth, even Bell had a hard time going up to the third floor from the first floor. If this was to be made as a quest to the guild, 
it would undoubtedly be of an S.ranked mission. This is why we were amazed by the intruder reaching the third floor that quick. Also, it's a woman. Lucky for us. Nonetheless, this is a dungeon where only people with enough confidence will come over, so she climbing to the third floor shouldn't be doubted at all. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of woman she is. Then again, I should expect that something's wrong in her head too. Honestly, I don't care even if it goes both ways. It's better to see her for myself and decide after that. I'm going, Gillis, are you done verifying what's inside the book? You can double dot check them if you want, why? You haven't read the book completely yet, haven't you? Ah, uh, it was as thick as a dictionary after all, so it was impossible for me to remember even a certain page from it. As it was our only clue for the control of the intricate art formation, unlocking it is still beyond us. Maybe one slip and this will all backfire or make it worse. Maybe that's why she's worried. I haven't. Well, I'll eventually read them over time. Don't worry, just leave the seal to me, okay? Fine. I'll leave it to you. And, how will you fuck the intruder this time? Well, that will depend on her. What I can guarantee is, she's going to be in a situation where she won't be able to get out of these traps before I do the deed. So it's the same as my time, after all, that a change of heart is an important factor in gaining bonus points. Still, the wordings of this statement are too vague and to what extent this rule could still apply. Hey, what's change of heart? It is too vague so I cannot explain it well, hmm, if I give an example, it would be, okay, let's say there is a person you hate, then he fucks you, then it triggers something inside of you, making you fall in love with him, then you make him fuck you once more, what the hell is that, really? And I thought I gave a pretty good example too. Even though I don't want to get violated, why, why does it feel so good? Yeah, that's the classic script of someone falling to carnal desires. If I were to put a tag on it, it's like mind break, but the scale going to the vanilla side. Still, the unknowns in this dungeon are way too many. It will be tough even if I squeezed out all my brain juice. I'm gonna find out what kind of opponent we will be facing first. We'll figure it out till then, okay, while we're trying to find the patterns, I'll do my best to gain many points. Now then, here we go, teleport. Volume 2, Chapter 7, Apprentice Mage Elsie Appears You are listening at Novel Full Audio. After recognizing an intruder has come, Bell and I transferred ourselves to the third floor to see our first victim. However, something unexpected happened. You, I suddenly leaked my voice upon seeing the woman trapped within. The reason is simple though. This woman, I remember her. Of course, I said remember, as we're not in that deep relationship of some sort. She's on the level of an acquaintance, at max. Senpai, I found you at last one. Blonde hair tied in twin tails. Age, about three years younger than me. Her name was Elsie. She's a mage apprentice, and currently should be attending in our mage academy as a high school student. Gillis, do you know each other? Well, more or less, more or less. He's a junior of mine when I was still a student. That said, I was not really a member of any clubs or some sort, so she simply put just an underclassman. She was in middle school when I was already in high school, as far as I can remember, Gillis went to school. That's unexpected, wow, other than the woman in front of me, someone has hit me in an unexpected place. Well, the unexpected place is my pride though. Still, I don't think Belle meant no harm. She just couldn't imagine that I, who was dubbed as the degenerate archmage, went to a school of learning. Now that I look at it, that's even more ouch to my pride. I got no choice back then. It was an order from the country itself. All in just to assure them that I won't go astray, but you never really attended the classes, did you? Of course, I did at first. But the teachers were biased around me, and even though I got full marks, they always give the worst evaluation. They sucked. Why shall I attend more? 
he but looked to me that you had real fun with it, wait, was that a sarcasm? Hey Belle, what are you getting in a bad mood for? So, why did you come here? Belle turned her cheeks to Elsie who was caught in the trap. By the way, the trap was a narrow pitfall, and she was trapped from her chest down. Elsie came to see her senpai. You mean Gillis? Belle then looked at me. She's giving that interrogating look. I shrugged my shoulders in response. Then, this girl, she's in love with me, but Elsie loudly denied it. T that that's not true. Elsie was senpice, I hate you, I hate you, I hate 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 you so much. Oh, I can see that now. Bufufu, Elsie swayed fully in denial, but Belle only laughed at her actions even more. Dot, hey hey, when did you start hating me? From that day onwards. That day. You forgot. Nope. Don't remember. Can't do. The only thing I could remember was when she was still in middle school. Also, her boobs were this small that time. But, she was still ongoing puberty. The only thing I didn't expect is her chest. Her chest. Growing from that dumpling to a melon is just too much. Hey pervert, your thoughts are leaking, poops, that was close, still, her chests were no doubt like no other. She was almost completely buried to the ground from her chest below, but thanks to her breasts clogging the hole, she has prevented herself from falling in. However, because of that, her bazingas also shifted upwards, sandwiching them with her face altogether. I really want to rub those melons while she was still incapable of moving, but let's be patient for now. And, when is that day? I don't know anything about this Gillis here, and he won't tell me anything, so could you please try to explain? Before that, who are you? Me. The Demon Lord, who? Th the Demon Lord. For quite a small fellow, her reaction is pretty big. You're so pretty. Also, your style is outstanding too. Fa. Fa, fa, I know, I know, why the heck were you praising her? Unable to hold on, I let out a Tsukomi. A dot and what would be your relationship with senpai here? Lover, nay, a couple would be better, what do you think? Owner and pet. Of course, I am the owner, I corrected Bell right away, but Elsie didn't hear my words somewhat. S. Senpais, lover. That's right. He said he wanted to have a peaceful and proper life, as he was tired of always being treated as a problem child even way back at school, so when we meet he decided to live out the rest of our lives together in seclusion. Just ignore what she said, Elsie. She's just lying to you. But when I said that, Elsie immediately glared at me. Then, she shouted. You liar. Well, I did talk a lot of lies, so I won't deny that part. However, did I ever lie to Elsie to begin with? I'm not sure. I really haven't had much interactions with this girl. You, you really didn't remember anything, sorry, this Elsie told to Senpai. Even though she told this already to Senpai, what was it? That Elsie wants to be your pupil. Nope, I don't think I remember that at all. On the other hand, Belle gazed at me, as if speaking the word, really, out loud. I'm sorry. I really can't remember, turning me down like this, so horrible. I'm really hurt. Hmm, where did I met this girl, I was pretty sure it was in the courtyard of the school. I was sleeping on the lawn as usual, when a woman with tiny breasts showed up before me all of a sudden. She said many things without caring about by response at all, but to summarize it looked like she wanted to be my pupil. However, I don't take disciples. I explained Elsie that, however she didn't buy it, and instead glared at me more. May I know the reason why? Reason. It's bothersome. I didn't really say that out loud, but if I were to, I would bet bitten for sure. I'm sorry, but I just don't have a thing with girls with such small breasts, that was I said back then. At that time, Elsie ran for God knows where with tears in her eyes. A few years passed since then. Now, Elsie has come again, 
now with massive jugs before me. Senpai, Elsie's breast got bigger now. I massaged them a lot, ate meat a lot, and worked my hardest every day. A dot ah, yeah. You really became so much more chest that I mean breathtaking in a way, I mean, I could already see how big it was from the clothes she's wearing, that revealed her cleavage wide dot open. So the demon lord over there is my senior pupil now. Her boobs are certainly big. She certainly have big boobs, but she's not my pupil, of course I don't. Why would I want to become Gillis' pupil? Go go go. Still, does Senpai want this Elsie to be your pupil now? No way, when I refused, Elsie went in tears just like that time she ran away. You we mean this really made Elsie say a what? Elsie, why do you want to become Gillis's pupil anyway? You don't know. Senpai is a genius. Level mage. I want to receive tutelage from a wonderful mage like him. Now that's the part one can believe. His personality may have a bit of a problem, but I must admit, his magic is out of this world, of course, of course. Looks like Belle and Elsie had hit a common point. Gillis, her boobs grew bigger now. How about taking her in? Eh, what the hell? I don't want to deal with her. She's a hassle. I want to be free. I'm a free spirit after all. Shut up, shut up. I have to do something about this fellow. I hate you senpai. I really hate you. If you don't take me as your pupil, I'll kill you. I just rejected you to become my pupil and now you want to kill me for it. What am I going to do with you, HM, wait a moment. Perhaps, I could make her, participate, for some experiment. Elsie, do you hate me? I hate you, what if I tell you that I'll be willing to take you as my pupil if you let me give love to you? I refuse. Oh. She didn't want to be embraced by yours truly. This is unexpected, no, this is convenient. Ah, that stupid smile again, why is my smile stupid? Also, I just came up with something interesting. What is it? I whispered to Belle's ear. That's how it is. Belle, can you teleport me and Elsie together later? Well, it's not that I got a problem with it. Still, you already know, alright. When we're done, they'll love you too, so don't worry, when I said that, Belle happily nodded. Now then. Elsie, I'm sorry, why did you apologize all of a sudden? You came to this tower because you were chasing me, weren't you? I want to pay tribute to that guts of yours, S. Senpai. I approached Elsie then knelt down on one knee. I'll help you know. So, don't worry and entrust yourself to me, I decided to rescue Elsie, complete with likes from a handsome prince of a fairy tale. Now then, what would a handsome geek. from. previous. life do from here on? Translator notes 1. Elsie, Jr. Kohai, speaks in a respectful tone to Gillis, Sr. Senpai, as Japanese culture put emphasis on seniority over all other matters. This tone is lost in the translation, though, as there aren't any forms of it in English for me to localize. Other translators usually add. Diso at the end of the sentences in which LC2 speaks the similar way, but it's really weird in English. So I didn't do that. Same reason I'm keeping the senpai, kohai terms, it looks really weird when translated as such, when English culture don't give a fuck about seniority at all. Volume 2, Chapter 8, Detoxification Method You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Now then, let's figure out how should I make LC fall the second time, if you know what I mean. My partner today is an apprentice mage who deliberately hates me. I thought she was Tsundra like Belle at first, but I don't feel that way when I looked her in the eyes. She's at the level that if she were stronger than me, she wouldn't hesitate to kill me. What would happen if I were to make such a woman love me? I want to test it. I want to know how much points I would get on each swing of my hips. I want to try and see how effective it is. Are you all right? Elsie, don't you dare to touch me. The stuck lady shook my hand off. This Elsie can do this on her own. I don't want your help, senpai. 
I know that you hate me, but this pitfall is dangerous. Here, Fuei. What you are stuck in was a special soil that have toxins mixed within. You won't die soon, but it'll gradually eat your body away, n.no way. You're lying, I have no reason to lie to you. That said, I have no reason to help you either, you 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 you, if Senpai surely thinks Elsie is annoying, then you just have to ignore this Elsie. As if, I deliberately ignored the high dot sounding statement of a certain trapped mage apprentice. Thankfully because I was an otaku in my previous life, heroin.like set.ups like these are easy.pz. Looks like Elsie's having a little bit of rethinking right now. But, Elsie will be obligated to have a favor of senpai, this Elsie don't want any favors from senpai, you really don't want to borrow my help that much. She tried escaping by chanting some magic. However, the trap is made by a rather complicated formation, so it's impossible for an ordinary magician to escape just like that. Why do you have to be so stubborn? I cried out in a fiery zeal. It doesn't matter if you hate me or don't want me to help. However, I'm not the type of person who can just abandon someone. Geez, this girl. I put my hands around Elsie's armpit and put my strength to them. I'll pull you out as it is. This might get painful, but endure it as you can, senpai. You oh. Actually, I can just cancel the magic formation to pull her easily, but I acted like I'm struggling on purpose. I even added bleeding effect on my arms to make me appeal more desperate to save her. Orea. I pulled out Elsie with all my strength. The little apprentice was then thrown to the air, but I caught her from the chest. You stupid brat. I can't believe you followed me up to this place. This Elsie isn't, isn't at all. You're really worried about me. Sorry, worried. Why would Elsie worry about Senpai? Because you can't just leave me alone. I said with a killer smile. That said, even I myself thought I went overboard, that no one will be fooled with this poor acting. And so, Elsie. Senpai. Kyun. Her cheeks were dyed a little red. Wait, what? Just like that. Girl, you're easy. Too way too easy that I'm worried. Ah, Elsie tried to stand up, but she was still unstable. I caught her once again. It's the poison, if we don't take it out of your systems, it's gonna be bad, P. Poison. Is Elsie going to die? I'm not gonna let you die. Well, with that short time you were in there, you wouldn't die anyway. Just a proper rest and you'll recover quickly. That said, I'll gonna exaggerate on purpose, just to make her feel worried. Time is of essence. If you are willing, I can detoxify the poison. You know a way. Yeah, but the method, I'm not sure if you'll like it, please tell me, senpai, I whispered in her ear. Then, Elsie's face went abashed in a second. T. That, is that true? How can I lie at such time? You can hit me if you recover. However, I don't want you to die, was my seriousness transmitted. Elsie went silent for a moment. After a while, she nodded. Okay. That's settled. Bell, please teleport us, okay, after that, Elsie and I were transferred to another location. This is. The location we went to is on the bed. Maybe due to worrying about the potion, Elsie's breathing heavily, making her feel weary. Ha 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 yeah, it's getting harder to, ha ha yeah, that, don't worry, I'll make yourself comfy now, are you really going to do it? E. Elsie's, you're going to lick it there. I have to suck the poison out after all, you 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 you, in order to gain her trust, I did an explanation about the detoxification while adding several complicated procedures. Of course, everything is bullshit. I have a lot of knowledge and methods due to my diligent studies in that world and application of techniques in this world, and this is Elsie we're talking about, so if I just say something a little complicated, she will believe me. Do you understand now? I did I don't know. I just knew that Senpai would treat me properly, really, this girl. I don't know whether her personality's a good thing or a bad thing though. 
Then, I'm going to take it off, I put my hand under Elsie's skirt, then pulled her panties off. It seems she's already wet, as it left a transparent thread on the part of her crotch. It's a poison with an aphrodisiac effect after all, so it's natural. Ha heya, senpai has taken it off, sorry, it's okay. Senpai is doing it for Elsie. But, senpai. What? Elsie stared at me with moistened eyes. This is, Elsie's first time. P. Please be gentle, I immediately want to pounce at her when she said those words, but I was able to endure it up to the last minute. That was close, she was so cute I almost lost myself. As if she was terrified of the upcoming event, the cute little mage apprentice merely stared at me with hands clenched between her big chest. Ha hey, uh, I'm scared, it's alright, it will be over soon, that was false though, as I have no intentions of ending it that easily. I could finally eat out the pussy my precious junior who had chased after me with great difficulty after all. What's more, I'm her first. I'll thoroughly enjoy you enough and awaken you as a woman in full. I'm going, I first kissed around Elsie's lower abdomen. On, why there? She asked, but I chose to ignore it. I gently kissed and pecked her, slowly descending towards her crotch. I've just done that, but Elsie's body was already trembling. Ah, nm, nn, 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 as if ashamed to moan out loud, she bit her lips in check. Looks like the gal is having conflicting thoughts right now. Like it's just for the sake of detoxification, but it feels so good. Yeah, something like that. She's trying to endure the pleasant feeling. Your skin is so beautiful, Hyan, Senpai, enough with the praises please, and it's beautiful here too, I reached out to the mons pubis, void of any hairs, and crawled the area with the tip of my tongue. On, nnn, fua. You don't have any, do you shave? I, Elsie is still young so, it hasn't grown yet, oh, a natural pipan one. I went even more excited because it's a rare case, in which it's common to grow typical to the age. Nnnnnn, senpai, hurry up. Want you to detoxify me already, I understand, looks like her mind has loosened enough. Now then, let's loosen this childish body of hers next. Translator Notes 1. Pipan Pipan is a Japanese term that refers to a lack of pubic hair, usually in women and usually due to shaving. The term originated from the Mahjong Dragon tile of the same name, a completely white tile with no markings on either face. Even though pipan traditionally refers to an individual lacking pubic hair, this does not necessarily mean that the individual's hair was removed, it can also mean pre.pubescent or having naturally glabrous skin meaning that they never developed pubic hair despite entering puberty. As such the term can be considered an insult by teenagers who want to be more grown up and are insecure about their bodies as essentially the term is calling them a baby. The trend entered Japanese culture when the fetish of having completely shaved genitals overtook the Western pornography industry and subsequently entered Western mainstream fashion. However, the trend has had minimal impact on the Japanese fashion industry, and Pipan remains a small fetish market, with correspondingly low sales and an accompanying inability to attract the sort of relatively attractive AV idols seen in mainstream works. The lack of enthusiasm for heavy shaving amongst Japanese women is largely due to the practice of genital shaving once being common amongst the harlots of the Edo period red dot light districts. Since Japan has a well dot developed culture of public bathing, women who appear at onsen or public bathhouses heavily shaved may experience unwelcome attention from gossips, as the trend is still heavily associated with prostitutes and fetishism, and bemused children who liken shaved genitalia to their own bald genitalia. While pipan is a niche fetish in typical pornography, the prevalence of hairless genitalia in 2D erotica, or most commonly known as hentai nowadays is most likely due to the difficulty of drawing convincing pubic hair. Volume 2, Chapter 9, Elsie's Squirting You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ayan, Senpai, No, Please Stop. I buried my face in her smooth pussy, void of any traces of hair. Then as she opened her legs in an M-dot shape, 
I gently savored her pink slit up and down, like I was licking a delicious ice cream. Nnn, nnn, I doubt it feels strange down there, on, it's like I'm being electrocuted, it's part of the treatment. Endure it, Hyannon, amazing, Ann. As if she's feeling the pleasure for the first time, Elsie started writhing her waist in agony. Meanwhile, I was trying my best to lick her gently, all while suppressing my wild desires to ravish her disgracefully. After all, the treatment must be consistent. It's not supposed to satisfy my carnal desires, not at all. Well, that is what I'd like to say, but it's also hard to endure licking this naughty girl. Despite growing a few years older, Elsie was still childlike in her demeanor. It's not that it has bothered me that much, but seeing her erotic behavior makes me want to violate her heart. While moving the tip of my tongue over and over, I felt Elsie's body. Ah. Senpai, please, let me rest a bit, don't want to yawn. Why? If we don't hurry here, it will be too late, geez, Elsie then locked my face in place with her thighs. I don't know if it is to prevent looking at her embarrassed all over or not. It's her first time after all. Dot smooth white thighs surrounded my cheeks with its soft sensation. I couldn't bear with it anymore. Elsie, I'm going to be a bit more intense now. Phew. W. What do you mean by that? Elsie asked back, but I ignored her and made my tongue move faster. After a while, gushing sounds could be heard, as if there's a puppy drinking water nearby. Enemm, -um, ah, that sound, this is embarrassing, we have to take out the poison after all. I got no other choice, is the poison really inside? Yeah. It is some kind of water dot like soapy substance, and it should come out from your crotch. That is the poison, of course, that was a lie. Yawn. But, this water dot like thing, it has, it was already coming out of Elsie, it was already coming out. Since when? Before I realize, I was already smiling in my heart. Aya, that's, um, that, a u u u, you have to say it properly. My theory may possibly be wrong. Senpai, probably realizing how serious I am right now, the little mage apprentice calmed down and brought herself to talk. And with her face flushed in red, she began to speak falteringly. Um, Elsie is, this Elsie is a bad child. The place where Senpai is licking me, this Elsie has touched it, several times, you touched it by yourself. How? Elsie, Elsie didn't know she shouldn't, I'm sorry, you don't have to apologize. Still, can you tell me more? When was the first time? Is it just recently? Um, Elsie, this Elsie has touched it for the first time when she was still 12 years old. After that. Almost every single day, every single day. To think someone who looks like a serious mage apprentice, to do something so frequent. So that's why she's so sensitive. Elsie, what you did is not a bad thing, so don't worry, Fway. R. Really, it was a natural action for human beings. By the way, how did you do it? Um, the place where Senpai is licking right now, Elsie has played with her fingers, by putting them inside the hole, only your fingers. As expected from this type of person, she has already done this sort of thing. And by type I mean those people that could easily lose themselves to the pleasure, and so they touch themselves quite a bit. It's not just the fingers, not just the fingers. I repeated her words unconsciously. That, Elsie was teased by a female senior mage apprentice, then after that she gave me something, something. E. Elsie has never seen the actual thing, but it looked exactly like, that, of a man, isn't that a dildo? What was happening in that magic academy I had attended to? As expected of a school in a different world. Did Elsie used it? I asked her calmly, trying to hide my disturbance. Why dot yes? Elsie has put it inside the hole, and deeply too, hers looked pretty tight as I licked it, to think it was already loosened quite a bit, what a shame. Still, with her severe addiction of masturbating, it had made her body build a pretty sensitive constitution. As I think about it, I want to test that sensitivity of hers more. Did you really put it inside the hole? 
Well, I have to make sure, s. Senpai. It's all right. How many times did you do it? Elsie doesn't know. But, Elsie still haven't had anyone yet, on. I put my finger in her intimate place where juices overflow. I only tried inserting my middle finger, but it was still quite tight, contrary to my expectations. I'll try feeling it for a little bit, why, on, a uh. Senpai, don't, please. On. Don't worry. I've got this, I moved closer and stirred her vagina further. At the same time, I also licked her clitoris, making Elsie lift her waist in pleasure. Hiya. Senpai, don't, please. If you do that, Elsie will. Stay still, C. can't do it. N.no way, ya, yeah, so fierce, I bent my fingers, then stimulated her G. spot this time. After feeling it, I pushed the spot further. Aaiawiwa. Bikuan, her ass jolted. After a few moments, it came out like a tide. Say dot senpai, that, that was amazing, I have found where the poison was located, Ia. Anyway, I'm going to stimulate that spot further to extract the poison out. Here I go, after that, I made my fingers violent. Although she still got a narrow vagina, I rummaged her insides forcibly, concentrating all of the attacks on her G. spot. I hit and squeeze it with my finger over and over for several times. Of course, I didn't leave her clit unattended. I attacked her G. spot and clitoris at the same time. Yawn, stoop. That's, already, stoop. Elsie's body trembled visibly. Aiyawa. Coming, coming out. It's going to come out. That's the poison. Come, ya in. It's embarrassing. A.M., goo. Don't endure it, Elsie. B. Dot, but, I'm pretty desperate here. Also, I'm worried about you after all, S. Dot senpai. Let it out, Elsie, I said to her. Her face went red. S. Dot senpai, please, don't ever tell anyone, Elsie begs you, I won't, T. Dot, thank you very much. As if enchanted by my sweet words, Elsie started her preparation to come. Her legs that had shut themselves a while ago gradually opened, and her hips were raised further. Isn't this the bridge position? I also removed my face from her crotch, leaving only my fingers on the assault. I don't want to receive the tide at point-blank range after all. Ayah, nnmm. I doubt it's already coming that. Come ithayaying. Let it out, let it all out. It's come yaying uut. Elsie's coming uut. While calling out the words of the climax, Elsie came intensely. A big tide of the poison squirted out from her crotch, soaking the sheets in retribution. Pushea, Joba, Bushu. The faster I moved my hands, the bigger the tide had become. And within each squirt, Elsie exposed her old dot face every time. Komimimiing. Komimithiing, you 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 you. Elsie continued moving her hips up and down on every climax. Her legs were completely open, and she's already at her toes. Ah, H.A., Fu, Elsie, has let it all out. It's done. Feeling better now. Ha Haya, Elsie, feels better now, after that, she limped on the spot. She looked towards me, then smiled. It was the first time she showed her smile to me, and it was basked in afterglow nonetheless. Senpai, Elsie, feels very refreshed, that's good, Elsie thought Senpai is a bad person, it seems it wasn't true, it was all for your sake after all, I'm sorry Senpai. Senpai's clothes got wet, don't worry about it. Let me take it off for a second, eh, yeah, yeah. After that, went naked in front of Elsie. She tried to cover her eyes with her hands. However, even though she was covering them, she left quite the gaps in between her fingers, so she was able to see my nakedness in its entirety. Say dot senpai. She then headed her gaze downwards, towards my crotch. Because of the series of bullying I made on her, my meat stick has now been fully erect, waiting for launch at any time. Elsie, D 
do you know what this thing is? I approached her while having a black smile in my heart. Volume 2, Chapter 10, Penetrating Elsie You are listening at NovelFull.audio Hawawawa Perhaps because it was the first time she saw an erect penis, Elsie jolted to the very edge of the bed, terrified by the sight. Oh I oh I, do you really have to react like that? I'm sorry. It's just, it was bigger, way bigger and more vivid than the dildo my senior gave me. I don't know how large the size of a regular dildo of this world have. Still, judging from Elsie's reaction, it's probably her first time seeing the real thing. Well, it's natural. She's still counted as a virgin after all. After a while, her fear gradually turned into interest. It's big, and it's throbbing, is it swollen? It's not that. Elsie's figure was so adorable that it got excited like this, c.cute. Elsie is. Of course. Why do you think I helped you for? Don't tell me senpai, oh. Elsie's cheeks turned red again. She must have presumed something. If my guess is right, now is the time for me to go all out. E. Elsie has very little knowledge about this. Why did it get so big, is it because you like Elsie? Yes, that's right, to say it with confidence, Elsie's heat throbbed a bit, what does Elsie think of me? I approached the core of the situation. The little mage apprentice showed a troubled expression, but soon she returned to her serious face. Elsie hated Senpai from the moment he refused to accept me as a disciple. As a result, this Elsie studied desperately so that she would become a great mage even though she wasn't able to get apprenticeship from Senpai. Who? Splendid, she really tried her best there. Thanks to that, Elsie has reached the top grade in the academy. Despite all that, Elsie didn't think she has beaten Senpai at all. What Elsie wanted was to surpass Senpai. And those feelings changed into hatred before you knew it, so I came to this dungeon to find and defeat Senpai, but before it happened, I was caught in a trap, and ironically, Senpai, the one I hate was the one who saved me. I see, Elsie was really really frustrated at that time. It was this Elsie who hated Senpai the most, and yet, and yet, Elsie was ashamed of herself. Tears flowed to her cheeks. I also acted like I was touched by her story. I even moistened my eyes for added appeal. Nav om I have to do this or else I would be found out. However, when Senpai saved this Elsie, Elsie then realized her true feelings, after that, she prepared herself. Then, that Elsie is in love with Senpai. Elsie cried out, all while her face turning red. That alone I could see that she's serious. Elsie, this Elsie want to do her best for the person she loves. Even the thing Senpai want to do the most, this Elsie, this Elsie will gladly do it, you know. The cute mage apprentice offered nervously with upturned eyes. Little did she know that it enhanced her cuteness even further. I guess I have no choice but to do my best now. Let's convey our honest feelings first. I want to become one with Elsie. Will it be alright to you? Of course. If it's for Senpai. This Elsie will do anything, then, please get closer first. It's hard to do it when you're on the edge of the bed. Oh. Okay, Elsie then approached towards me. Then, Elsie, get on all fours, all fours. Like this. As I told, Elsie crawled on all fours on the bed. She then turned her cute perky but towards me, as if tempting me with it. Now stay still, Fue. It's like I'm a beast, but I like doing it like a beast. Does Elsie hate it? You, 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 you. I doubt it's not that I'm not interested by it, but, then let's do it. I really want to do it with Elsie this way, you. Oh. Okay, Elsie got no choice but to surrender herself from getting insisted by me. I got on the bed and approached Elsie. The mage apprentice's precious treasure was already exposed, and large amounts of love juices were already leaking. Ha heya, my butt is being seen by senpai, a you 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 you, I have already licked you all over. Why are you still reacting like that? 
the one a while ago is for treatment so it does not count. After all, this time is, actual sex, with my lover. So, lover. Though it wasn't clearly stated, Elsie and I became lovers before we became aware. Isn't that a good thing? In the end, you have changed your feelings for me. I answered as if I had an understanding. With a, yes, Elsie also nodded. Elsie, I think you have known this already, but I am what they call a lowlife, a useless, and a degenerate scum. Is it still okay for you to become a lover with someone like me? That's why Senpai needs Elsie even more. This Elsie, this Elsie will make Senpai a straight person. Not good. Have I acquired a trouble. Magnet? She's cute and adorable, but I don't want her to make me a straight man. And that was a, straight and honest man, before any of you get any ideas. Senpai, why the disgusted face right now? Nothing. It's nothing, good grief. Senpai is really no o good. Elsie is necessary after all, w. Well, maybe, maybe not, s. So please make your penis big. N. Nothing will get done if we don't do anything. N. Now then, Senpai, Elsie voluntarily pushed her but in front of me. Surely she couldn't endure it too, despite her nervousness. Suppose that Elsie is serious in turning me into a straight man, then it meant only trouble for me. However, if I could make her fall over the heels with my body, it might make it easier for me to make her listen to what I say. While I don't hate giving women foreplays, what's the point of it if I won't feel pleasure in the end? I had several arguments in my mind, yet I couldn't express them into words right now. Fortunately, our position is a doggy dot style. I'll be able to attack her deepest places, and make her learn the joy of being a woman. In other words, she's at my mercy now. As I thought so, my meat stick went even harder. Elsie, are you alright? I placed my hand on her butt. I did I am okay. I'm always okay. My heart is ready anytime. Oh dot okay, just calm down. Don't be so nervous. I pointed my erect penis against Elsie's vertical slit. Then, I rubbed it up and down. NNN, on. Say dot senpai. That's, please hurry up, Elsie's gonna lose it. That's what I'm aiming for, Ayan, senpai you meanie. Elsie already wants it. You want what? Ask properly, nnmmmm, that, it's embarrassing. You don't like it. Then I won't put it in, when I told her my refusal, Elsie stared back at me, and with rough breathing. P. Please don't say that, Elsie, Elsie wants Senpai's penis, where? H. Here, in Elsie's pussy, the fair mage apprentice then spread her legs wider, then voluntarily spread her genitals seducingly. Her love juices flowed to the outside thickly. You have done well saying it properly. Here you go, your reward that is, on Elsie's so happy. I pulled Elsie's hips towards me. Put it in. Senpai's thick and hard cock, please put it in. That moment, I decided to take Elsie's virginity. Volume 2, Chapter 11, Elsie is an M. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Say, Senpai, come, put it inside, on. After putting herself at ease, Elsie the masturbating maniac swallowed my meat stick without any painful complaint. On the way, I felt I bumped into her hymen but surprisingly with just a little push I have reached her very depths easily. Still, looks like her dildo isn't that long enough to break it all. Looks like we can make it comfy from here. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, um, at first, I thought it was scary but, it wasn't really painful as expected. I think it's because Senpai has licked it a lot, naturally. It's for Elsie's sake after all. I spoke to her with pride, all while enjoying the good view of her thin waistline and her curved buttocks. Yep, doggy style is really great. I now definitely understand the reason when Carol said this was the most popular position. It had a great view, a great sensation, and most of all, a great control, as I could swing my waist as I like. Now that all is ready, it's time for the piston to pump hard. 
I grabbed Elsie's but firmly and started the engine. How, N.N., Kun, Ha. Senpai, is rubbing inside, it feels, so amazing, ga, it's clamping tight. Before I knew it, Elsie has become an adult, way more compared to when we're still in the academy. The tightness of her vagina is so intense it's like it hadn't matured at all, that if I were to lose focus, I'll gonna come in no time. That said, my focus was already out of the window, so I'm swinging my hips like an idiot now. On, NN. Ah, osh, my ass. My ass is. Are you feeling it now, Elsie? Yes. I'm feeling it. It's deep, deep inside. Yay in, NMM, on, NMM. Sorry Elsie, but I can't stop my waist either. Every time my hips beat her crotch, Elsie's fleshy ass shook in waves before me. Added to that fair and smooth skin of hers, it boosted my penis thickness even further. Ayan. Senpai's penis is getting thicker. I got excited when I look at you more, Yan, I couldn't bear to smile if you say that. Does Elsie love doing it from behind? I love it. Th this, it reaches all the way inside, also, because we're doing it like beasts, I feel even more lewd. So you like hardcore beast dot like sex huh? H dot hardcore I dot if it's being violated forcibly, well, I can't say I'm not interested, you wa, uh, Elsie is a pervert, Aya, uh, senpai, please don't say that, she's showing rejection in her behavior, but her pussy says otherwise. Her vaginal walls wiggled and squeezed onto my meat stick, so tight as if another creature was living inside. I could already feel my pre-cum coming out. When I said you that you're a pervert, your pussy tightened up. Were you pleased that I said that? It was only a bit of verbal aggression, but this mage apprentice was already feeling it more. Was she an M, this was unexpected. Let's try to confirm it, just to be sure. Elsie, show me your asshole, Hiawa. Th that, please don't. I grabbed her buttocks with my hand then spread them wide. Our connecting parts were brought to full view, but with this I could take a look at her anus as well. It was a beautiful chrysanthemum crest without any pores, and it was colored pink too. Her hole was so beautiful you won't think she lets out her impurities from here. That said, I decided to say something nasty. Do you really excrete from this hole? I, please don't. I wonder what it looks like when a cute girl takes a dump from here, s dots and pow, n, stop. Please don't imagine strange things. You keep saying that, but your bottom hole is already twitching here, as if something would really come out of it, the hole widened and contracted energetically. Nmmmm. Please senpai. Stop it already. Answer me first. Is it true that you are feeling it more right now? No. Be honest here, or I'll take it off your hips, you you, you, Elsie growled like a child throwing a tantrum. Still, there is only one answer to choose from. Why that you won't tell anyone? Answer me first, ha heya. This Elsie, when Senpai has spread out Elsie's ass, Elsie felt even more aroused anything else. When Senpai imagined something strange, it felt good, that if Senpai wanted it, Elsie would gladly do it with him, wow, really. I don't have such hobby, so I'm fine right now, but to be told that she's willing as long as I wanted it. This Elsie really is quite a pervert. Well, people always say, don't judge anyone by just their appearance. Elsie has really turned into a pervert, please don't say I'm a pervert. But you already are one, please don't say it anymore, no. You were a complete pervert right from the start. Well, it's not that I don't like it. Dot, as punishment, I'll give you this, I brandished my right hand. Then, I slapped her but with all my might. Aaya Elsie screamed her loudest voice so far. The voice was a lovely, loud and coquettish one, not because she's feeling hurt, but because she's feeling good. Did you feel good when I slapped your ass? Ayan, it leaked out, so you're confirming it now. That you're a masochist. Ha ha ha, senpai, please, please bully Elsie even more. 
Oh dear, she finally made the request. Finally. If I were told something like that, I guess I don't have a choice but to follow Ian. Please hit Elsie more. How about this? Bashin, Bichin, I beat her ass more. Ah. Hi. New. Ku. Fwa. Did that felt better for her? Elsie arched her back like a shrimp writhing in agony. Her mouth agape, and tongue out in the open. Her drools were dripping at her cheeks, and her eyes were moist in tears. Ahi. I did it feels so good senpai. More, more. Senpai, give me more. By her request, I hit her many times. The more I spank, the tighter her insides become, and because of that, I'm already near my limit. Senpai's dick went big again. Ha 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 ha, Elsie, it's about to come out, see dot come out. Why dot you want to ejaculate? Yeah, can I come inside? I dot inside, b dot but Elsie will then, sorry Elsie, I just, I cold no longer wait anymore, you, you, it's not, that Elsie is against it but, if it's senpai, as long as it's senpai wants, then Elsie will allow it. Yes. Permission to come inside obtained. Now we can launch without reserve. Elsie, it's coming. Aiyawa. Elsie too, Elsie's coming. All while being spanked and being cummed in CEI'd. At the same time as Elsie's climax, I also ejaculated. My semen thickened by the excitement met Elsie's insides for the first time. Aiyawa. It's coming. Senpai's semen is filling my womb. There is still more where it came from. Furthermore, with movements of my waist becoming more intense, Elsie felt even more pleasure as I released my semen inside her. I pulled in her buttocks closer, then repeated my ejaculation many times in her deepest place. Ha heya. It's finally over, Fu, after I have let out everything, I pulled out my meat stick out of her pussy. It felt satisfying. NNNN. White liquid then flowed profusely from that hole, like a container with a stopper being taken off. Elsie was with her eyes closed, breathing to the side. Ha ha ha, my first sex with senpai, it felt good, I want to do it again, really. That's unexpected, looks like our first sex stirred up Elsie's carnal desires even more. It was a smart decision. Well, this woman aims to be a great mage, so she's smart enough for the role. She will make a great use to be my right arm. Elsie, come with me, with those words, Elsie came to me. Volume 3, Chapter 1, New Intruder You are listening at NovelFull.audio Few days have passed since Elsie became my companion. Even though she's still an apprentice, she's still a mage, so she has to have thorough knowledge about magic. For that reason, I decided to make her play an active role as my right.hand man. It was nice if that went smoothly but... Wait a minute. Gillis lover you say. Senpai loves Elsie after all. Ha. Huh. No way. He's just acting that he likes you. Bell quarreled with Elsie over me every single day. And whenever I who was in the center try to calm the both sides down. Shut up. Please shut up senpai. I was always turned down flatly by those words. H.A.A., I gave a big sigh. The maid next to me then spoke. You fufu, it's hard to be popular, isn't it? You said it. Being turned down is another, but getting out of hand like this is. This one e.san is fine with a purely dot bodily relationship you know. C.A., Carol. I reached out to Carol who offered an unexpected helping hand. After all, a purely sexual relationship is probably the easiest for us to manage, or that's what I think. Of course, whenever we have such conversation, Belle and Elsie will get angry at me. Gillis. Senpai. I'm sorry, see what I mean. However, although the exchanges they had were foolish at most, we were able to get ourselves closer to the secret of this tower, even for just a little bit. All we have confirmed are as follows. First, 
we have succeeded in obtaining the total number of points for all the actions we have taken. While we couldn't analyze the formula at all, I was able to obtain these numbers by connecting the formation with my magic. The current points we had are these. 2201000 though 220 points were still far from our target, once we obtain 10,000 points, the conditions will be cleared and we will be able to unlock this case. According to the results, the sex with Elsie has the highest point obtained. Her hate changing to love must have played the greatest part of the deed. However, it was really pitiful, looking at the increments we gain on our succeeding activities. So, if I didn't get myself to have sex with different women every time, it will take forever for me to gather the remaining points. Still, if we do our best then. A certain mage apprentice said, giving me quite a shock. Hey, just where is your head located? Can you even compute? Ah, uh, yeah. Senpai, I have something to tell you, what is it? It's about the royal palace's magic ministry. They were searching for you the last time I visited them. Did you do something to them? I guess it's about that time already, if I hadn't made contact after three days, they would presume that I have died. The situation is cool for me and all, but the guys from the magic ministry will never believe that until they found my corpse. Rather, if I were a member of the magic ministry, I would think that I have colluded with the demon lord already. That's how they were hostile to me. Well, I could no longer argue with that, as it was a fact already. Elsie, have you heard any news from them? Um, well, when Elsie stopped by the magic ministry, they talked about something like wanting to see how your situation went or so, they probably were asking Elsie to do a reconnaissance and they might already be getting ready at that time. It was also possible that if she didn't gone ahead, they might have stormed this place already. I don't really want armed people coming inside this tower. With my fighting strength, I could handle quite a large amount of people if we went into combat. However, I dislike fighting, and because of the stupid restriction mom gave to me, forbidding me to kill that is, it was better for me to leave them alone instead. Yet I don't think it will be ignored just like that, that I also thought, senpai, while Elsie and I were in a mess thinking how to deal with the upcoming problem. If that's the case, why not just defeat everyone? The only fighting nut in our group spoke out loud in a triumphant manner. Yeah. Could be. No. Bell, you can win if you went serious at them, but that won't solve anything, why? If you were to knock down the first wave, they will definitely increase the strength of their second wave, and if I were to defeat them again, the third one will surely be more stronger than the last. Precisely. If that happens, our investigation of the formation will have no choice but to halt, then, what should I do? That's what we're thinking about right now, should I admit the good relationship between me and Bell and the secret of the tower? Eh, no. Why would they trust me in the first place? Well, there's no use thinking about it for now. Let's just wait for the next prey to arrive. Biririri. And speak of the devil we just heard the alarm. Looks like someone's got caught in a trap again. What floor is it? Gillis.san, it was the 34th floor, by the looks of it, Carol told me. Trapped on the 30.4th floor, wait, is that, Yufufu, yes, it's certainly that, s. Seriously. Gillis.san, you seem so happy about it, no, it's nothing, if it's the trap on the 34th floor, it was certainly, that. That was the first thing that comes into mind when you mention eroticism in another world. That doesn't care whatever kind of woman falls in it. In this dungeon, not every place is covered by my surveillance equipment. The damn place is too big for my capacity for starters, so I place them in traps or places intruders might step or get caught on. All of the traps have alarms so I was able to detect if someone were to get captured by them. Yet, not all of them have surveillance cameras to see the unfortunate victim. There's a reason why I didn't place it in all of them. Still, without them I wouldn't be able to confirm the identity of the intruder so I still don't know if it's woman or not. From that point on, I have to rely on my own skill. Still, it's strange, Belle muttered, with her arms folded. 
why can't we just have one of those surveillance cameras of yours near the entrance of the dungeon? I would have done it already if it's possible, even back in my previous world, the most ideal place to set these cameras up were the entrances of any establishment after all. However, for some reason, I couldn't install it in the first floor. It was because there was something causing a strong interference resulting to the camera breaking apart like a powerful barrier of some sort. And because there were several sets of stairs one can access to the next floor, it was difficult to put cameras on all of them. I don't have a choice with my limited capabilities. As for me, it was already useful because I can confirm where the intruder is without moving from my seat. And because I was required to approach the victim for our first joint ceremony, watching them on screen is not as important. Also, they're all traps. They're made to bind and capture prey to their literal sense. Anyway, looks like someone was caught in one right now. Now it's my turn to go and see it. Once again, I asked Bell for the transfer magic. Volume 3, Chapter 2, Female Thief Dahlia You are listening at NovelFull.audio Damn, what's going on? My name is Dahlia. I am also a famous female thief in a nearby city. No matter what kind of dungeon there is, it's always a breeze to me, for I am an excellent thief. I was so excited when I succeeded in entering this dungeon, but now I'm in a terrible situation. Lavebell Tower is a dungeon that they say is to be avoided of all the things that should be avoided while you can. That even my peers, whom I told I will try to break in here, every one of them tried to stop me. Maybe I was feeling so big dot headed at that time, I had just finished a really difficult job after all. Or maybe I was blinded so much by the reward for the request of infiltration here, that said, the reward is really, really big I tell ya. Placing that huge amount of money in front of me, of course I couldn't refuse. That's why I decided to conquer this dungeon. At first, it went well. I was laughing in my mind wondering if this is what they really called the Tower of Death. But as the floor went up, everything started going down. Traps were getting even more complex, and they come out one after the other, leaving me panting for my breath and my life just to get out of them. Arrows, pitfalls, traps on walls, then there is this one. Wah, what is this, thing? Tentacles that move undulatingly, grabbing all my four limbs and refusing to let go. It blasted towards me out of nowhere wrapping themselves around my wrists and ankles, hanging my body up in the air. The tentacles were so slimy and disgusting and painful and with the scenery changing so sudden, I didn't have the time to resist at all. I still have a knife on my waist, but I can't use it as freedom was already out of my hands from being bound. What's gonna happen to me now? Am I gonna starve to death up here? No. I don't wanna. I can't allow these tentacles to end me. Now that I've observed them, these tentacles, they don't move with will unlike humans, but they should have some kind of purpose. As I was thinking that, a single tentacle appeared in front of me. Then it squiggled over my body as if it's licking me. It's as if it has a mind of its own. It has no eyes, it has no eyes but. The way it moves is exactly like a perverted old man's gaze and it's creeping me out. Even though I look like this now, I'm confident in my body. My chest department may not be too big, but they are toned and has good shape because I trained well. I am also well versed in lewd techniques. I was born with a body of a woman after all. I've been in some really hard times, to the point that I have to use my body to my advantage. If I have to seduce a man in order to get useful intel, I would, and then listen over the bed afterwards. I have been going in and out of that world for several times already. Still, even though I have used the bed as a negotiation table and even spent nights to my outmost desires from time to time, no one has left me satisfied yet. It would be quite the gap if these tentacles were to give the satisfaction I need, but still, I don't want it. I want to escape from here already. Damn it, let me go. Still not realizing the slimy feeler's intentions, I acted violently, but the tentacles wrapped around my body even more, as if mocking me. 
The other tentacles went inside my clothes, and as soon as they found my underwear, they tore them apart. However, I knew that the show's just starting. I have to endure the tortures of these tentacles in order to find a chance somehow. I fired myself up once again. NNN, at first, a single tentacle rubbed itself against my genitals. It has small warts growing on its whole appendage, and whenever it moves back and forth, it makes contact on my clitoris, giving me quite the stimulation. But this is still okay. Next, two thinner tentacles wound up themselves from my breast to my nipples. Talk about bad taste. What the hell is this? The tip of the tentacles opened. No, what are you going to do with my nipples? Agu, Nayai. I screamed to the pain from being bit at my sensitive place. However, sweet noises of pleasure came immediately after. From its heads that bit me, snake-like tongues came out and licked my nipples around. It tasted it over and over, bringing me further excitement over time. After that, moans leaked out of my mouth. D. Damn it, something like this is. Hiya. Don't lick the ear. No way, these tentacles are way better than any partner I have experienced so far. I have to come up with a plan, or my body wouldn't last long. However, as if sensing my intentions to escape, another tentacle appeared in front of me and inserted itself towards my mouth, forcing any ideas out of the window. D. Don't come near me, Amphmph. Amphmph. I resisted with all my might thinking it would get even worse if I allowed the tentacles any further, but my mouth was forcibly opened up. I then put up strength in my jaws to bite it off, but it was too elastic and slippery that my teeth couldn't even leave a scratch. Meanwhile, the tentacles reached deeper down my throat while my mouth suffered the humiliation. Gah, gaho. Abu. Damn it, damn theat. While cursing the goddamn feelers in my heart, Tears were leaving my eyes before I realized. Goho goho, ah. Then I felt the tentacles in my mouth began to pulsate. A moment later, some kind of liquid came out of its head, while still deep in my throat. Stoop. I desperately shook myself in the fear of swallowing something I shouldn't have, but the monstrous strength of the tentacles left me completely suppressed. The disgusting slithering thing jizzed inside my throat for several tens of seconds before finally leaving my mouth. Aho aho, gaho goho, an. D, du nunt. I tried to vomit the unknown juice, but I was forcibly interrupted by the other tentacles that are violating my crotch and nipples. Though the shitty appendages intensified in humiliating my body, I immediately noticed a change in my body. I desperately tried to keep my reasoning intact, but my body is getting hotter and hotter. How far do you still want to go you piece of shit? Aw, oh, damn it. My body is so hooded. As a thief who has gone through many trials and tribulations, I immediately noticed that it was a kind of aphrodisiac. Though it was not as effective as the ones in the black market, it has dealt a fatal blow for me who's hanging at my very limit. Ah, Aiawiawa coming. I'm coming. Was my signs of climax red? The movement of the three tentacles went even faster. The two at my chest slithered around my breasts, giving them an even more secure grip, all while licking the tips of my breasts with its tongue dot like appendage. The one at my crotch also increased its speed, giving me even more pleasure as it goes in and out of it. To make things worse, the single tentacle that injected me the aphrodisiac went over my genitals. Don't. Just what do you want of me? Stooped feet. The spot at which the said tentacle aimed was. There, not there. Not my clithiot. Coming. The feeler pushed the wart dot filled tentacle, which was doing a high dot speed piston aside, and struck at my clitoris, which was now completely exposed by the series of arousing events. I received a climax I have never felt before in my entire sex life so intense that my eyes went white from pleasure and my body went into a series of convulsions. H-A-H-A. These tentacles, they're too intense. 
I'm no match for this enemy, my whole body went all sticky with all that sweat, love juice and all other bodily fluids of the tentacles restraining me mixed in. However, even though I was humiliated so much, the demonic limbs still cheerfully rubbed their bodies against me. Looking at my situation, I despaired for my future. Will I become a toy of these tentacles until I die? You you you, if only I didn't accept that request, how will I turn out from now on? My thoughts didn't last long, for the tentacles started their next action without regarding my feelings. Those that have been restricting my movements from above began to lump themselves, forming a chair dot like mass with handrails in the process. Then I was made to sit there, after that they spread my legs apart and bound my knees on the handrails. You. Just what are you intending to do next? Another tentacle approached in front of me again, and recalling the previous climax I had a while ago, I was dominated by fear and expectation on the inside. This bastard, do you really like enjoying my reaction? The perverted tentacle moved straight towards my crotch once again. Hiya. Th that spot is. What that slimy devil went into was the other hole I didn't expect. It went through my anus. Don't fuck with me. Even I haven't let anyone use that part even now. Although I was upset with this unexpected event, I have already lost all my strength having been through an extreme climax, so I wasn't able to budge even once to the restraint of the tentacles. The tentacles on the other hand, as if scoffing at the sight of me raising a heartbreaking moan of resistance, they began their next step of disgrace. What in the world will happen to me from now on? Volume 3, Chapter 3, Dahlia's Tentacle Anal Torture You are listening at NovelFull.audio Tentacles began teasing my butthole, despite the continued resistance I showed. At first, it was the snake-like tentacle that has been licking my chest since a while ago. Like what it did to my breasts, it stuck itself around my asshole and licked my insides with its long tongue. Hayu, no, stop, I'm losing my strength. As that place hasn't awakened yet as an erogenous zone, I felt more discomfort than pleasure. However, with my body still ingesting that damn aphrodisiac, my body became so sensitive that I could feel its every lick. Because it was a strange feeling that I haven't felt until now, my body went timid and immediately lost its strength. Sensing my movements were weakening, the tentacles swarmed me at once. A number of them indecently shaped feelers entangled between my breasts, legs, arms and body, and from time to time, they spray some sort of white and cloudy liquid over my head. I think it was also a kind of aphrodisiac. Although it felt weaker than the first one I swallowed, it still increased my horniness nonetheless. In addition, a tentacle, along with the wart-filled tentacle that has been bullying my genitalia a while ago, they switched positions and began pinching and rubbing my nipples alternately. Coo, this thing. Ah. No, not the nipples. It'll me feel it even more. However, the little warty still stimulated my tits regardless of my will. I gave quite a quiver in my excitement, indicating I was about to come once more. However, the tentacles began to weaken their stimulus after that. Th, this thing. Are you still not done teasing me or what? I'm already losing my mind here. That shout had spent all the energy I have left. I felt like dancing on the palm of its Han.air, tentacles. At that time, I realized that the tentacles that violate around my ass stopped moving. Then the next thing happened. As if waiting for a signal, the tentacles that covered my butt invaded my asshole. I desperately tightened my hole to refuse them but because it has been severely licked and loosened by that snake-like tentacle from earlier, allowing the other slimy bastards to get swallowed easily. Ha 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 ha. The tentacle is going inside my butt. You, so intense, no, I must stop this. If I allowed this damned creature inside any further, they will surely reach my very depths. Ah, uh, it's, it's coming from the rear, it's slimy and slithering and so disgusting, although the tentacles did a great job in loosening the area around the entrance, because it was my first experience being jammed by a foreign object inside my ass, I could only feel shitty. After all, it was the first time I did anal. As if realizing that I have already caught up my breath, 
the tentacles took another step further. Damn, what are you trying to do this time? Hi. N.N. No way. What appeared in front of me was a black tentacle shaped similarly to the male genitalia. I who have now understood what it was trying to do, gathered my remaining physical strength, and then struggled and shouted at the top of my voice. No. If I were done by that thing. However, as if wanting to tease me more, the dildo tentacle approached slowly towards my precious place. Really? You really want some of this you fucker? Just how far do you still want to go you piece of shit? It was like totally enjoying my despair in itself. After that. Nghiyai. It, it came three in, wow, it's so thick, with my nipples and bum hole getting violated constantly, my crotch got wetter and wetter. The extent that it's already spraying all over in delight as it swallowed the dildo tentacle that has quite the thickness deep inside, all while my mind is in full rejection to its will. The dildo tentacle on the other hand, started its bondage penetration play. Ahan, so intense. It's hitting all the way at the back. Despite softer than the real thing, the black feeler was able to adjust itself well, making its movements easier and faster. Unable to keep up with the excessive pressure, my will to resist began to crumble. Hiya. Don't rub it in my cuant. Ah, damn it. How is it so pleasant? I who wasn't able to fight against the tide anymore began moving my waist to get myself more comfortable. Although I have been through a series of abuses until a while ago, and currently looking so disgraceful right now, I could no longer afford to worry about those things. Finally, the time has come. A tingling sensation rose from the bottom of my stomach, wanting to explode outside. This sensation, I'm sure that this will be much worse than the climax I had a while ago. No, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming Agaain. But before my consciousness began to fly out from the four-dot-point tentacle attack, all the tentacles stopped moving. Instead, they just tightened their grip on me, ensuring I won't even move an inch. Not again. How much do you want to make a fool of me? Contrary to my revolting mind, my body already want to submit, I want to climax already. The tentacles moved again. Looks like it had no more intentions of irritating me any further. Ha he I. Anal. N dot N O way. I should have known this thing is shitty to the core. The fucker seems to want me to reach the peak inside my ass. Despite feeling really disgusted at first, the slithering fuckers did a good job in awakening my erogenous zone at the same level as my genitals. S. Stop I it, I don't want to feel good in my ass, I don't want to come by my ass. I then verbally abused the feelers with my remaining energy, but my voice was already lacking in power. Nheaya. Aaaaaya. The next thing I realized, I was engulfed by a kind of pleasure I've never felt before, and my hands and feet were already undergoing a series of convulsions. Tears and saliva filled my face, making it an appearance that I can never show outside. The pleasant sensation kept stacking and stacking, and including all the suppressed feelings from the teasing a while ago, the dam was already full and in the verge of breaking out. I'm a mmmmnn, aha. No. I can't stand it anymore. Coming, I'm coming from being dot Finally reaching my climax, my thoughts were dyed in pure white, while my body went shaking and shivering, rattling all the tentacles that restrained me. After the long climax, my body went limp like a puppet with its strings cut. My figure leaking various kinds of liquids from inside my body was so vulgar that my peers would never imagine it was from the usually strong dot minded me. After a while, I regained my reasoning and finally remembered what I had been doing a while ago, and could only swing my body in vexation. Ha ha ha, I, I was made to come from playing with my ass, oh. To come that much from your very first anal sex, you're surprisingly lecherous, aren't ya? Someone called out to me. A man. I see, this fellow. I observed the man who walked by. That man didn't have a single weapon. His clothes too, they were too casual for someone to be able to survive in this dungeon. 
but those things don't matter now. I have to use this guy to get rid of the tentacles somehow. I still couldn't put any strength to my body basking in the afterglow, but I managed to tighten my loose face and talk to the man. L. Lecherous, aren't you too cruel? I did I was a little caught off guard, a. Dot and out of luck I got caught in this trap filled with tentacles. I voiced out, trying to suppress my trembling inside. How unfortunate you are. Well, there are a lot of powerful traps in this dungeon after all, the man continued as he approached me. My name is Gillis. And you are. I'm Dahlia. Hey, can you do me a favor and help me out here? I've got a lot to thank you for, I requested with the bravest voice I could muster, then after he thought for a while he looked around my body as if evaluating it. I felt something strange from the way he gazed at me, but I tried my best not to show it in my face. Your offer is great but, I'm not going to let you go, the man declared, showing off a villain dot like face. My body couldn't help but shiver upon looking at it. My intuition is saying that this guy is dangerous, but what choice could I have? All right, I'll be your partner for one night, two nights even, however, the man's evil smile went even deeper as soon as I presented my offer. Is that so? I'll get you out of here then, oh, thanks. However, you see, you're enduring it way too much. I don't like that, the man finally reached the front of the tentacle chair restraining me, and while approaching me, he said. Therefore, as a courtesy, I'll get you off right here, the tentacles that were strangely docile until now began to rustle, as if ready to start a new series of torture once more. Volume 3, Chapter 4, Fucking Her Asshole You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. When I called out to her offer, Dahlia jolted in surprise. R. Right here. Yep. Right here. Cool. It can't be helped then. But before that, can you do something about these tentacles? It's strangling me here, after agreeing to my offer with a bitter face, the sexy thief urged me to get rid of the slimy feelers. However, pitiful girl is still yet to know everything. Nay, that won't be necessary, what? That's not what you had promised. No, it's different, I sent an order to the slimy feelers. I'll just say this first, this tentacle trap was created by Bell, not me. I was only able of controlling them with her help, so don't get any strange ideas. I'm interested in this tentacle play, but not to the extent that I'll make one to try it out. WH. What is this? The tentacles, they moved again. Hey, do something. I'll get fucked again if this continues. Dahlia panicked once again, screaming her begging for a rescue. The other party, which means me, just enjoyed the magnificent view unique only to this world. Yep, seeing a tentacle rape play around a beautiful woman like her is a really good scene. As expected of a fantasy world. It was a development I could only see in adult games of my previous life after all. However, seeing it in 3D with all the feelers biting and binding that meaty goodness is really amazing in its own way. Of course, my PP erected instinctively from the sight. I don't have to. In the first place, the one moving them was me, wh. What did you say? No, no way. Don't tell me, you had such power. No you fuck. Do I look like a tentacle alien to you, you sow, though I was retorting her in my mind, I didn't let it break my composure. Not quite. This power was from the demon lord. I was merely managing it, though Belle's skills were first class in creating traps, I still doubt whether she could manage a dungeon by herself or not. She's just too prideful. Moreover, she lacks wits. Damn you. Then the deal we made earlier was a lie. Hey hey, I didn't lie one bit you know. I just said I would get you off meaning make you come, not get you off the bindings. It's your fault for misunderstanding it. Also, this is for my experiment too, to increase my points to be gained. It's all for efficiency, woman. Well, there's the other reason too. I'm still the type who follows the deal. I'll release you properly, but not after I taste your butthole first. Wah. 
My butthole. So you were watching me for a while now. Yeah, and I have seen it all. You were quite lively back there, aren't ya? Thanks to that, I became pretty interested in this part too, you asshole. No, it's your asshole. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it. You don't have to be so angry. I'll make you feel pleasure, more than what these tentacles gave you even. Yes, the other reason is that I have taken interest in her doing anal with the tentacle rape play that I've watched earlier. I have held many women in my arms, but I have no interest in doing it in the anus. However, when I saw Dahlia getting buried in those tentacles and convulsing right and left, my desires of it began to grow. Plus, I think it would be better to do many variations from now on, in order to get as many points as possible. Gulp. A pleasure more than those tentacles gave, you say, Dahlia gulped in, unintentionally recalling her climax just before. All the screaming and panting and insulting over those humiliating tentacles reverberated again in her mind. While she's still in the midst of her recollection, I commanded the tentacles to move according to my orders. I sat down on one tentacle, then I made them bring Dahlia in front of me, prying her legs open and then exposing her asshole. You have quite a wonderful hole back here. It looked like it has never been used at all, D. Don't look at it so much. Ah, this is embarrassing, you're pretty much in an embarrassing state already. Also, I have seen you flapping your ass since earlier, so what is still remaining to get embarrassed about? Dahlia tried to look away, but I still commenced nonetheless. First step, I needed her tight ass. Hers was of a considerable quality among those I have ever held until now. And looking at her gait, she's undoubtedly skilled. Unlike those prostitutes, she's a woman who has been in life. Threatening situations as a profession, after all. Now that I thought about it, where is her party? Wait, she came here all alone. Is she testing her skills? Or is it a special request from someone? Well, let's hear it from her later. For now, let's do this. Hey, you're fond of doing it in the ass, aren't ya? I traced my fingers over her asshole. Dahlia's body quivered. Hiya. Damn it, to think I'm doing this with an unknown man, the cute little bandit gave quite a cute scream to my caress, but immediately replaced it with a scowl to rile me up. Nice, I don't like women that are easy to surrender. This will be a good development later. One finger. What are yo? Hiya I inserted my index finger inside her bum. Contrary to her scream, the hole swallowed it smoothly. You have been fucked by that large tentacle once, so this should be a pinch for you. What the hell was that yelp for? Still, the way it sucks my finger in so fast is amazing in itself, upon hearing my exclamation, Dahlia's gaze became sharper, but at the same time her breathing became rougher. It was evident that she's already feeling it early. I then increased the number of fingers to two. By the time I reached the third, it became harder to push in. Dahlia's lust however seems to be increasing. She's panting like a dog right now. On, no, don't move your fingers. Nhaia. That I waved my fingers inside, scraping all the walls I touched, and interestingly, she gave a series of moans unique for every move I get. Looks like it's about time to get good. I sent an order to the tentacles once again. They then brought Dahlia who is resting above me slightly higher and turned her over into a pose that was resembling the doggy style. Then, they slowly dropped her ass over my dick. As soon as her asshole touched my meat stick, a firm resistance kept me from penetrating. Ah, hot. Something hot is coming. I received another desperate resistance from above as it is below, but she's just too weak for me now. Inversely, because Dahlia is shaking her body all over, the tip of my meat stick kept touching her hole, giving me quite the pleasure in the process. Hey hey, can you tone it down a little? You have no other choice anyways, so stop screaming with every touch. It's annoying, fuck you. If you put such a big a hot thing inside me, then my ass will get broken. I don't fucking care. We had our fucking deal remember. 
so get fucked with it. Dahlia screamed at me with her sharp tongue, in which I screamed back, making her tone down a little. Traces of despair could be seen in her face. Unfortunate for her, that reaction aroused my twisted mind instead, so I started dropping her waist down to my dick immediately. No, please stoop. Ah, a hot thing is coming Theon. Dahlia's anus refused me with its intense clamping at first, but once I entered, her meat walls which seemed to continue forever gladly received my penis at once. Ugh, finally, I have managed to put the whole thing, that aside, what an amazing but you have, Aya, uh, ah, uh, it's in, the whole dick, a man's dick is now inside me, you, hey now, we have just started. Stop crying and get over it. It's not like this was your first experience. Ah, uh, she's not responding. No choice then. I grabbed Dahlia's waist which still refrains to move then started my pistons, indulging myself in the anal sensation that was completely new in my sex book. Nyi. No oh, my ass, stop twisting it in my ass. Why though? Aren't you enjoying this since earlier? Come on, tell me, tell me what you're feeling or else. Without stopping, I lifted her waist. It was pretty difficult to lift a struggling woman, but with the tentacle support it has become much easier. On, no oh. Stop it, please. I'll feel it more if this continues, that's fine for me. Let's make it even faster. Ahi, ahi aawaiya. When I speed up my movements, Dahlia raised a cute scream. Looks like the cute bandit has lightly come. Well, with all the struggles and movements stimulating me, I'm almost at my limit too. So I hastened my movements more than ever to prepare a grand ejaculation. Dahlia's but made loud sounds every time I slammed my waist towards my crotch. It was pleasant to my ears. Ah, no oh. What? Coming, something big is kumiyathiyait thayayin. Come on, come. I'll fill your bowels with all my cum, so receive it all. Coming, coming coming cuming. My intestines are going to get filled with Samin. I made a final hard slam against her butt, then injected all of my load to her insides. A tremendous amount of semen was poured into the intestines of Dahlia. Ah, uh, so hot, something hot is pouting three in. I'm getting semen in the same hole where I she it, the sexy thief blurted out in delirium, then as if out of power, she weakly leaned to me. I caught her body and embraced her all while pumping my load up to the last drop. After that I stroked the trembling body of Dahlia. So, how is it? Feels good, right? Ah, uh, for the first time in my life, I went crazy with my ass, I'm happy to hear that. Unfortunately, I don't have the intentions of ending it here yet. Hey Dahlia, why did you come to this dungeon? Th that's, I turned her face towards me. If it's the usual, there would be a lot of conflicts in this interrogation, but this is right after our climax, so there should be no room for it now. After all, this method is my prized truth serum. Still, its effects are still limited, so I have to know her purpose before it's too late. I have already heard from Elsie that the Ministry of Magic is already looking for me. Though I have Evelyn in that post, I still can't let my guard down. She's clever as a fox, so if she's the one moving the pieces, I have to counter it as quickly as possible. What's wrong? Tentacle got your tongue. Okay then, tentacle in your tongue it is. Now let's do your breasts instead, no. Ugh, please, no more, I already had enough, then answer my question already, okay, okay. I came here to try to test my skills. There is someone among my companions that looked down on me because I was a woman, so I want to prove it to him that. Just I was about to mess up with her still erect nipples, she immediately gave a story out of the blue. Still, do you think I'm an idiot? Your pause right there shows enough that you've came with this bullshit from that moment. You're lying, it's not a lie. It's true. No, I understand. I have been embracing women all my life. I could see though the entirety of you, Ku, 
realizing I have seen through her lies, Dahlia made a bitter face. I see, I see. Then it can't be helped, I assume it would be better if I hear it in this direction instead. I immediately pinched the still dot hard tips of her tits and played them around. G.I. No oh, no more, any further than this is, the fun times are not over yet, my sweet Dahlia. Now, let's expose what you are hiding. 